Welcome to your gift of the present. I'm your host, Super Dave, the director of training with Best Life Creation Society, and I'm really, really excited that you're here. And um, I, I really want to let you know that um, this is a new format that we're doing here in Best Life. So this is going to be happening in this way over the next four weeks. And um, we're going to talk about the power of being in the present moment. We're going to talk about some stuff regarding the mind and inner being connection that we do with the training in Best Life. And uh, we're going to really have a lot of fun. This class is designed um, at the perfect time. You know, it's holiday time for most people. And um, so here we are in this beautiful space here on Zoom. Um, oh, and I see a few more people have joined. So hi, Donna. So I see you there waving at you. I don't know if you're waving back at me, but that's all perfect. Hey, Suela. And I see Hi. Suela's here. Hi, Susu. I am working. I'm so sorry. But... Oh, no, you're okay. Hi. Looks great. Hi, guys. Nice to you. Nice oh, to you guys. Glad you're here. Oh. Welcome, welcome. Yes. So, um, and I... And I will say too that um, for people that are here, um, just remember that if you if you're on a phone or device, um, if you want to move around while this class is taking place or whatever, um, there's a mute button right at the bottom of the screen. So just go ahead and mute yourself, especially if you're at work or if you're doing things of that nature. And um, yeah, it'll be perfect. So um, yeah, so welcome guys. My name is Dave Bresnahan. I am the director of training with Best Life Creation Society, and um, this is going to be a really powerful class because uh, the first thing I want to let you guys know about the power of the present moment is that that's where all your power lies. I'm just going to say right there, flat out, your power is right here in this present moment. So everything to create, everything that you want, all of your desires, all of your wishes, all of your ambitions, everything, it's here created in the present moment. It's not in the past and it's not in the future, but when we're in the present moment, what magically takes place is the things that we're wanting in the future can happen and the things that we want to let go of in the past, we can. So I'll say that one more time. When we're in the present moment, the things that we want in the future, we can create and the things that we want to let go in the past, we can. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to kind of open it up to you guys for any comments or questions um, or observations. Um, about any of that. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Uh, Jen, anything you want to add to that at all? I know you might not be on or you might be doing some other things, but if you can, and if not, that's all oh, perfect too. Oh, sorry. I was, I was on mute. <laughs> I listened. I was following your, your very good directions when I put myself on mute. Yeah, you guys, this is, this is such an incredible piece, right? Because our power is everything is in the present moment. Yep. And, um, and I love this class so much because it really is designed to help you get in alignment with right now. Because we all have things and experiences we can draw back on, um, and they may be um, happy memories, or they may be may, maybe have a little um, unpleasantness to them. But those don't have any power unless we bring them to the present moment. And sometimes it's better to just leave those things in the past. So I'm so glad that you uh, you know really are addressing this point because. Um, yeah, this is where we create from. This is where um, everything um, occurs, is right in the present moment, with eyes poised towards the future, with the vision towards the future. It's like being in a car and looking out your, your windshield, looking out towards the front, where are you going? Um, but knowing that you're the one operating the vehicle right inside there in that present moment to get you there. So, um, and even though you may have a, you have a rear view mirror and some mirrors that you can see in the back, you don't need to use them too much. And if right. you use them too much, you might get into some trouble. So that's right. Yeah. Jane. So I love this Dave. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that you, I love that you use the analogy of the rear view mirror because, um, something else to consider when it comes to being in the present moment, guys, is think of how small the rear view mirror is and think of how big your windshield is. Just think about that for a second. Mm -hmm. Take that that's in. Great. That's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Just, just take that in. The rear view mirror is so small 
in comparison to what's in front of us. But when we're focused on the rear view mirror, interestingly enough, that's where we get into quote unquote accidents. Because instead of looking in front of us and being in the present moment, we're constantly looking behind as to what was. And what was is what was. So let it be and let it go. And be right here in this powerful, beautiful, perfect present moment. Whether it's this moment or this moment or this moment or this moment. So <laughs> does that resonate with you guys? <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, can I just, um, I feel like there's something I'd love to share if that's okay, Dave. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. This, and by the way, this is a, this is a sharing call guys. This is a, this is wonderfully a mastermind. So if you're feeling anything in the moment, it's helping all of us and we're doing it in the present moment. So it's perfect. So please, Ali, yes, go right ahead. Yeah. So it, it just makes me think of like, I've, I think all of my adult life, I've been someone who has been dedicated to getting better and improving. And so the only tools I knew how to use before were digging around the past and I would <laughs> Oftentimes, if I felt stuck, I would go, and this isn't any, I know there's lots of like counselors and um, therapists who do really, really great work for people. It just happened that the ones that I went to go see, it often was digging into the, all these things from the past and digging them up and trying to go through them and understand them and understand how that made me, how, this was like exhausting, <laughs> exhausting work and recreating all of these old feelings. And I know that they didn't know any better and it's fine, but I love the contrast now of learning about being in the present moment and then using the tools that we have that just kind of, if something comes up, you can just really easily release any barriers to anything that's keeping you back. Yeah. And then it is almost like magic. Like I think about all the changes that have happened, particularly in my relationship with my husband, Mm. where counselors would say, okay, let's dig this up <laughs> and let's talk about this. Whereas through the tools that you guys have taught me and help from you and Tammy, it's like all this stuff just disappeared. Like these <laughs> patterns, these habits, these cycles we'd get into, they're just gone. And we're like so much more the couple that we could have been. Like we're, we're stepping into our potential as a couple and it's so fun. So I really, really value uh, what you're sharing and have seen it just work wonders in my life. That's awesome, Ali. Yeah. Um, that's, that's really powerful because you know what it makes me think of too is um, Abraham talks about, um, oh, you just, you just said it and I just lost my train of thought. Shoot. That's okay. Maybe, maybe I'll pick it up in a different so present moment. It's yeah. So that, that, that's, well, that's brilliant. <laughs> it really, it really is. And I'd love to add to that because Ali, what you shared is so good, right? It's like if we're too fixated in the past, the end we keep thinking, oh, well. <laughs> so oh, it's kind of like we're on this beautiful, beautiful journey going forward, right? And we're looking out our windshield. We're in the present moment. We're in our car operating all the controls and the steering wheel and everything. And we can see where we're going, right? We know it. We may occasionally, um, you know, go in the past or check the rear view mirror just to check, you know, just peek. Um, but it's, if we think, you know, some of the previous theories or things that people have been presented said you need to go back and clean up things. It would be like saying if you if something was in the back, now you need to turn around and go back there, right? Go back, go back, go back 20 years and drive back there <laughs> so you can get to where you're going. Right. But that doesn't make sense, right? No. Where you could just keep going forward. You could just keep going forward. And it, you'll put more space and distance yeah. between it, right? It, there's, no, there's no value in going back. Going That's back right. 20 miles, going back 20 years, going back 20 minutes ago, really. Um, not, not really. <laughs> right. I, I just, I, and I just remember what I was going yeah, to add on that. So there's two things. One was yeah. a story where Esther, um, they, had, they had got a new GPS system. And... Um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Sue remembers the story. And um, it's funny because Esther um, wasn't used to it. And um, so they, they thought like, they were like, uh oh, we're going the wrong direction. And so then Esther was like, well, we should probably start back from the beginning again. 
and like we we better we better get this thing whole back to the and let, let's start back from home and jerry's response when he was still alive was or we could just keep going we'll just we'll just keep going we'll just keep moving forward and it also ties into jen with the thing i wanted to share um with you guys also which is getting to the bottom of it just leads to more of it or trying to get to the bottom of it you know so you've maybe you've said to yourself or you've seen other people oh we really need to get to the bottom of why this why this occurred all that's going to create is more of what we are not wanting to have occur usually because we're not usually trying to get to the bottom of things that feel good usually i mean i don't know for sure i can't make that as like a blanket statement but i think when we're feeling good we're not like okay let me get to the bottom of why I feel so good. Let me, <laughs> let me really, uh, let me really like figure this out. Let me figure this out and let me <laughs> calculate it. And yeah, that's not what happens. We just enjoy it. Right. When we're in that present moment, we're not like, let me figure out why I'm enjoying in the present moment. We just enjoy the present moment. You know, mm -hmm. think of like, for those right? of us that went to Kosovo, we weren't like, Oh my God, why are we having so much fun? We were just having fun. So just something to add for you guys to consider. Well, and that's such, that's such a good point, right? And it makes so much sense because the second you're get, you come into a space of retrospection too much, right. that's looking in your rearview mirror. Yeah. And it's okay to like take an, an occasional glance, glance. right? It's yep. not like, but um, well, just like go, when you drive, well, I need to. Because what happens the second, even if you said, well, I, want, I wonder why I was feeling so happy. Now you're not looking at where you're going. That's right. Now you're going in the wrong direction because you just pulled yourself out of the, the gift of the present moment. You yeah. Just, yeah. Right? So, yeah. Yeah, you've also gone uh, yeah, right. It's a, what was that, Sue? Sorry, Jen, didn't mean to interrupt you. I thought you were done. Um, I was just going to say, you've also taken yourself out of experiencing the feeling and put yourself into your analytical head right that's exactly right Sue yes yep so perfectly said mm -hmm. so perfectly said. exactly yeah and the feeling is is how we, we stay in that present moment which ties into the next piece I want to talk about um, so Sue so brilliant that you shared that because it ties in exactly with where I was going next no surprise because we're in this beautiful present mastermind <laughs> right guys so just awesome um, and I'm just to add what Jen was saying about the rearview mirror too. You said something real brilliant, Jen, which was that we glance at it, but we're not focused on it, right? We're not going, I hope someone doesn't hit me. I really hope I don't run into somebody. I really hope, oh, I'm looking at the, because you'll get into an accident very quickly. Uh, and some people do that. That That's very true. Exactly Sue. I, that. Have, <laughs> I have, I have, I have, I have mm -hmm. been around energy yep. where that happens. Right, yep. right. Right, right. But when we're in the present moment, it's because we're in that beautiful space to use our feelings too. And typically, 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 generally speaking, here's a good rule of thumb. I would consider everyone to write this down. We talk about this in all the training that we do in Best Life. And it's this, when we're in the present moment, it's because we're feeling good. And we're feeling good because we're in the present moment. Ties in beautifully with what Sue said. When we're really in the present moment, we're feeling good. And we're feeling good because we're in the present moment. There's not usually a time when we're like in the present moment and we're feeling bad. If we're in the present moment or we think we're in the present moment, we're feeling bad. It's usually because we're focused on something from the past or fretting about something that hasn't yet happened in the future. And okay. you guys can, can think of that for yourselves, I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Very sure. So, yeah. So true. It's so yeah. true. It's so true. Even if something unexpected happened in your present moment, right? right you're, you're still looking forward. When you're looking forward, you can just see past it. You can see beyond it. And you can see the opportunities opening up because of it. So if, if something in your present moment happened that was unexpected and you decide instead of looking forward, you want to look back, when has this happened before? I better make computations based on and you spend too much time. <laughs> it's not a quick glance. <laughs> Guess where you're going? <laughs> that way, right? It's. I love this analogy. This is so powerful. So good. Yeah, yeah. Now, here, here's the caveat with this, and then I want to expand this open to you guys. Well, interestingly enough, and I'm not really sure why, but with a lot of personal development companies, there's been this enforcer, 
into the present moment. But that doesn't put us in the present moment. Think about that for a second. It's like, snap to it, you know, wake up. All that does is not really put someone in the present moment. It's, it's almost kind of like there's like that potential rebelliousness because someone's telling you like snap, snap, wake up, be in the present moment, be here, be where you're at. But if, if you're not in that space of where you can really feel good in the present moment, it's not sustainable to be in the present moment. Does that make sense, you guys? This is a missing component in lots of personal developments because there's lots of things out there talking about, you know, be in present time, be in present time, but there's that push. And we know that because we live in a law of attraction universe, isn't it true guys that whatever we push against pushes us right back. So if, if, if we're going be in present time, gosh, concern it. Don't be, don't be surprised if people are all like, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh God, don't, don't push me so hard. But if you're like, hey, did, did, you, did you know that if you feel good, you're in the present moment? Well, now it doesn't feel like a chore. It's like, oh, you mean all I got to do is feel good I'm, and I'm beautifully in the present moment? You mean it's that simple? Yes. And there's no one going to reprimand me if I'm not in the present moment? Yes. And there's no one that's going to enforce anything upon me. Like if I'm out of present moment for a, for a few moments and then get back to feeling good, that's correct. Yeah. So I want to expand this out and see what you guys are feeling or thinking um, about anything that we have covered thus far. Anyone have anything? Hello. Hi, Tanika. Hello, Tanika. Hi. I Hi. Just say I love it. So Yay. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Awesome, Tenika. Yes. Perfect. Um, Ali, you were wanting to share something? Oh, I just, as you were talking, I realized that when you, when people do that thing where they say get in the present moment, if you, I feel that pressure, then I'm actually immediately in the future because I'm fretting about whether I'm in the present moment or not. So I'm not exactly. in the present. I'm, I'm thinking about the present, but I'm not in the present. You nailed I'm just it. Like, Am I there or can they see that I'm there? Am I going to be able to stay there? You nailed um, it, Ali. Yeah. So I think sometimes people think they're in the present moment. Yep. But if you're thinking about if you're in the present moment without that, you're not. Goal, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> That's exactly right. And, you know, you tapped into something really beautiful and brilliant there too, Lee, which is that you're either in the, you're either fretting about the future or you're thinking about the past of when you wish you were still in the present moment or, oh, you got, you know, if, if I could just go back to like I was when I was a kid, when I could just be happy and all this kind of stuff, and you're also still mm. not in the present moment. Right. You're not. <laughs> So it really is tied in with feeling good. When we're feeling good, we're in that present moment. And we're in that present moment because we're mm -hmm. feeling good. And any time that you, you think of it like this, guys, and um, Abraham talks about this. There's other personal areas that talk about this. Um, you know, there's other development things that talk about this. Um, there's different scales, emotional scales. Um, uh, I had prior training um, in Scientology and they talk about this thing called the emotional scale. So think of it like of the idea of like the vibration of like content. Abraham calls it satisfied. Anything that's basically at satisfied and above is a good feeling. Well, we know that if we're in those feelings of good, then we're right here in the present moment. So even anytime we're feeling any sort of dissatisfaction, it's a good rule of thumb to be like, oh, Okay, what's, and again, not going, oh, I need to get to the bottom of why I feel dissatisfied, but a very powerful technique is just to look around your environment. Just, just to look, just, just look around your environment. Look at the trees, look at the sky, just kind of look around. And the fun thing is, is this process doesn't take very long. It takes literally a matter of seconds to maybe a minute tops. But what will occur is as you're looking around your environment, you'll have some sort of awareness or cognition or um, new understanding either about yourself or about your present environment. And as soon as that occurs, you're back in the present moment. So like, I'll give you an example. Like, so let's just say you were stressed about something and you're like, oh my God, I'm so stressed about something, <sighs> right? Because it's that it's dissatisfied or, you know, it's undersatisfied. 
ah, God, I'm feeling so stressed. Okay, let me just look around. Okay, that's a, okay, so that's, that's a tree and okay, I'm looking there and the sky's really, hmm, the sky's really blue. Wow, it's kind of a, wow, there's like no clouds in the sky. Right there? That was the awareness. Because it wasn't just like, oh yeah, look at the sky. It was like, huh, there's no clouds in the sky. And that right there was the awareness. So that could be the awareness potentially about the environment. The other one is the, is the awareness about yourself. So sometimes this could happen. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You're stressed or whatever. You're in that, any sort of dissatisfied or below, right? Oh my gosh, this is, oh, okay. Oh. You look around your lamp, you know, okay, that's, there's a lamp, you know, and okay, you're looking at that, okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, huh? I should probably get a new light bulb for my Himalayan salt lamp. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Wait, there you go. There's the awareness, right? So that was another awareness about what you could do for that environment right there. Right. But here's another one. And I'm just giving all three of these. Okay. So you're feeling stressed or whatever. And you look around the environment, <sighs> you know, <sighs> wait, have I eat? Have I eaten anything today? I haven't eaten. It. There's the awareness. I need, I need, I'm kind of hungry or, you know, I hmm, kind of parched, you know, I could, I could go for some water. I should drink some water. You know, honestly, I think I just need to chill. I'm going to just, I'm just going to meditate for a second or I'm just going to go for a walk. I'm just going to, this is not a big deal. Why am I even concerned? Oh. Bada bing, bada boom. Back into the present moment. So, um, very, very powerful technique. I don't really have a name for it. Um, we'll call it the present moment technique. I think that's a, that's a pretty easy, easy name for the technique. So, yeah. So, um, anyone want to add anything to that or, um, new awarenesses or new ahas? Um, so would it be, it? would it yeah. be appropriate to paraphrase that into a sentence that looks like awareness brings you to the present moment? That's exactly right, Sue. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, pick the synonym that feels good to you. I love that you said awareness, but you know, sometimes people call them like aha moments. Sometimes people might call them cognitions. Uh, sometimes people might call them new understandings. Uh, sometimes people might call them, um, you know, Ooh, I just figured something out. Um, you know, like, Oh, you know, you ever have those moments where you're like, Oh, new that's that's no that's that new awareness you know and it doesn't have to be that you know uh emphatic <laughs> or animated you know it might even just be like huh mm -hmm. you know if i keep doing that that's not me being in the present moment huh there you go you just welcome back to present time so yeah beautiful so um Tenica, i thought i saw you reach in to unmute yourself did you have a, a question hun uh, no, I, I just have an awareness. And yeah? Yes, I love to say, I love to tell you, Dave, that I love your energy and that I'm so happy to see, well, the authentic you. Oh, thanks, Tenika. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> ditto, ditto. <laughs> ditto, ditto. Well, I love being authentic yeah, too. And I, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I just, watch you and i just love it oh thank you tenica yeah. I, I love you too so that's that's very awesome and you know i think the biggest thing is that it ties in with the caveat i talked about before which was the mm -hmm. enforcer of the present time was where that that unauthentic energy was coming through mm -hmm. right like you know you got like you know i, I had to get on a call and I'd, okay guys we're gonna really get in present time here and so here's what's gonna take place and <laughs> A lot of that comes from my prior theater training, <laughs> but I realized that um, that was my past. So even, <laughs> even me, even me, even me, that was me trying to feel good by looking to the past instead of feeling good by being here in the present. So great awareness, Tenika. Thank you. And it's so fun that we learn and grow and expand together, you know? It is. So, yeah, to, to have this, these realizations and mm -hmm. awarenesses uh, all together. Yeah. That is beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, and I think another thing that's really powerful, too, is that, you know, there's not this idea of, like, oh, well, they're the instructor. They, they know it all. No way, man. 
like we're all growing together as this beautiful mastermind. I'm excited to do this class with you guys because um, I'm growing by hearing these things. You know, Sue, the awareness of the present moment, brilliant. I, that was off my radar, you know, and I love simplifications of data. Tenika, I'm loving everything that you're sharing. Ali, everything you're sharing. Um, yeah, this is great, you guys. So thank you, Tenika. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Anyway. Anyone else? I thought I heard a Lee or someone else wanted to add something. Well, yeah. I, um, so Lee, I, so I've noticed something really interesting with my kids, which is that uh -huh. when I am not in present time and rushing around, especially my son, <laughs> he's like, mom, mom, you know, like he, yeah. he's just like he suddenly knows. super yeah. needy when I'm <laughs> not in present time. And so yeah. he's my little reminder because when I am like content or satisfied and just going like he can, he, is, he seems more satisfied too. Like he's yes. more in a space of like, ah, oh, everything's okay. And we're just, you know, going along the day. So he's become my little indicator. Like, okay. Yes. <laughs> I yes. need to just whew, take a breath <laughs> yes. here and get back into to present time and just enjoy the day. So that's been really cool too, just to kind of be like, ah, oh, his little inner being is like talking to my inner being and saying, yes. hey. <laughs> yes. like, come back to us we like you better when that's you are exactly in right. present time and with us i'm so glad you said that too lee because it ties in with um another thing i want to talk about which is um well how do we how do we you know what's a what's a way to understand what the present moment is and it's look to kids because kids um i'm going to expand on this are excellent at reading energy now, now, what is reading energy? It's, it's the ability to scope out the scene. It's not just the ability to just scope out and see and, and read the people. It's to perceive the circumstance, to perceive the situation, to perceive the surroundings. And because they're so still in tune, generally speaking, with their inner being, they can tap into that right away. And they're there basically to guide, just like you said, Ali, as an indicator, hey, something's feeling off. And they don't even maybe necessarily know how to word it a lot of times. They don't necessarily know how to approach it a lot of times, but they feel it. And so just like you said, it's like, you know, you're, you're feeling frantic. They read that energy of frantic and then guess what? Now they're frantic, but you're satisfied. They read that energy of satisfied and they're like, well, I'm satisfied too, Ma. You know, like they just, they just tap into mm -hmm. that energy. Does that resonate at all, Ali? Yeah, absolutely. And, I think too, it's such a good, like, if, especially for parents who feel like they might have difficult kids, it might not be that their kids are difficult. It might just be <laughs> that the parents are like not tapping into the present moment and feeling that's good exactly and the right. kids are just picking up on it. So that's that for exactly me has right. been a huge lesson of like, well, oh, maybe this isn't about my son after all. That's <laughs> exactly maybe this right. Is about me. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. And I think, a, I think a big thing when it comes to, um, you know, cause I'm not a parent, but I've been parented and I'll open it up to, you know, other parents, Jen, you know, and, and yourself that what I have continued to notice time and time again is that when we are realizing that it's not our responsibility to be responsible for the ch child's vibration, that makes everything so much easier on so many realms. But just like you said, Ali, when there's that idea like, okay, I got to, uh, I got to make, I got to make sure that my kid's happy. I got to make sure that my kid's safe. I got to make sure that that right there, it's like the kid picks up on it. And it's like, it picks up on that potential fear or that potential anxiety or that potential worry mm -hmm. or that potential, that potential vibration of, of anything below satisfied. And I've seen it time right. and time again. And I've, I've seen, I've seen it when, when parents are totally like chill about their kids and magically their kids are chill. And I've seen it where yeah. parents are like frantic and then they're wondering why their, their kids are frantic. And I'm like, yeah. well, you know, and I don't, I don't say anything. It's just a wonderful observation, but uh, yeah. And um, so, yeah, did you want to add anything to that? And then of course I'm sure Jen wants to add some brilliant stuff to this. Cause um, you know, she's an awesome mom too. No, I, I think it's just like another way that we can value um, our children as ways to help us <laughs> go back to that state of, of presence, you know, like valuing that, wow, I, you know, even in this, this uh, being that I'm partially responsible for, you know, there's lessons for me and to just stay in that state of gratitude for that. Yeah. 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 It's really cool. Yeah. 
well, you tapped into it right there too, which is, you know, that state of gratitude. And it's very easy to be in that, that present moment when we're in that state of gratitude, you know, and how, how it's, it's almost like, okay, so it ties in with feeling good. When we're feeling good, we're in the present moment and we're in the present moment. It's because we're feeling good or we're in the present moment because we're feeling good. Right. It's pretty hard to be focusing on the past to be grateful. But when we're here in the present mm -hmm. moment, it's very easy to find things that we're grateful for. And it's also another beautiful exercise to put us back into the present moment. You know, because we don't, we're, we're not like, oh, God, there's nothing to be grateful for. If that's the thought that's coming through the head, that's a pretty good indicator that you're not in the present moment. You're thinking about stuff in the past or you're thinking about things that you don't want to happen in the future. But it's like, okay, let me take a look here, right here in the moment. What, what am I grateful for? You know, I'm grateful for this moment. I'm grateful that there's a lesson here to be learned. Keyword here, as in right now, as in right in the present moment. You know, I'm grateful that there's so many things that I have right now. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my girlfriend. I'm great. I'm just, you know, going for myself. But those are all things that are I'm grateful for right here in the present moment. So, um, yeah, I love that you shared that, Ali. That's really, really powerful. So yeah so i see some people moving around and anyone else want to say anything before i uh, ask jen for her expansion on kiddos do you want to say anything donna all right so jen um i know you had some probably awesome nuggets to add regarding kids because you're a great mom Wow. Ah, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I, I love this. And oh, of course, kids are so, so amazing. Um, I'll just kind of, one of the things too, um, we hear the word gratitude a lot and gratitude is powerful. Um, but sometimes it's e even easier and it's a little more present tense, which is what this class is all about. To look at it um, from a point of appreciation. Oh, good like, call, Jen. I appreciate this. Because mm -hmm. even when we're grateful, oftentimes we're looking um, a little bit retrospective. True. Right? I'm grateful for this that happened. Mm. Um, and you can pull it into the present, but when you say, I appreciate you, you're right here. <laughs> I appreciate that you just brought me back into, um, you know, the present moment, um, dear Malcolm. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Right? It's like, I appreciate that. Um, sometimes that can be just... Um, it's easier, easier to stay, you know, kind of really very, very present. And um, I love so much what you shared, Ali, about kids, because it's true. Um, and especially they will um, oftentimes, um, even if like they like we're trying to, you know, as a parent or something in their environment, you trying to be really serious with them, they kind of try and play it off or they'll kind of, um, you know, try and maybe look away um, or those kinds of things. That is them kind of being connected to their present moment because they're like, you know what? That's already done. That was like 30 seconds ago that I spilled that mm. milk. So let's just move yeah. on. <laughs> you know, they're, right. they're, just, they're not going to stay stuck in it. They they really want to just like, hey, let's wipe it up. Let's make a game of wiping it up. Won't this be fun? We can tell yes. dad. Oh, sister can help. Come on. You know, oh, look, we could dam the milk so it doesn't run off the counter. Oh, look how it's pooling. Look how it makes Play a lot of milk. It's That's like, a great story. I they, that. they love to be very, very, very present, right? Versus saying, uh, you know, like a feeling bad. They want to feel good. And you can tell, um, you know, exactly how connected or tuned in. And usually younger kids are a little more tuned in that way. But uh, it's such a powerful piece. And remembering that as a parent, we, uh, it's really our job to keep them connected and at the same time, show them how to operate in the physical universe, right? Yes. Like here's, the, here's how you operate your body. Here's how you, you know, interact with people. And here's how you, you know, but stay connected. Stay connected to the present moment. Stay connected. We made a little uh, reference to it earlier, but stay connected to your power source or that, you know, um, you know, really that inner being, I guess. Yes. So, there you go. So I'll turn it back to you for Dave. That's awesome, Jen. I love that you said that because I just listened to mm -hmm. an Abraham audio recently where it was um, 
a parent and she got up and uh, she was really upset that her, her kid, um, um, you know, wouldn't behave. And um, she said, well, when it happens, Abraham's like, well, when it happens, how are you, how are you feeling? And she said, well, I'm feeling very frustrated and angry. And they're like, so let me understand this correctly. You're wanting a child who's wonderfully connected with inner being to come and match you at a vibration, which is disconnected from inner being. And the, and the lady was like, well, I mean, but, but I'm the parent. And she's like, yes. And, and, and they're the child. So like, respect that, respect that vibration. And I was like, wow, that's, that's really powerful because it is like that, that space of it's like, um, well, we talked about this before in, in the training too, Jen, which is like, you guys that are here and those that are taking this class, if there's lower vibrations around you, it is not your job to go to match their lower vibration. It is not your job ever at all, ever at all. Even for the sake of, well, I just want to be relatable. No, you don't need to do that ever at all, ever. And I'm being pretty blankety with this one, but that's because you control your vibration. You have the wonderful ability to not seek those lower vibrations and you have the wonderful ability to not create those lower vibrations. And here's the best part. When you're in that beautiful high vibrational space, they'll either come up to that vibrational space or they'll go away because that power of, and I talked about this on my Facebook live video yesterday, the power of one positive thought is stronger than 10 negative thoughts combined. So we know that, and we know scientifically uh, all the wonderful energy that comes with being positive and having that positive energy. And so it's not that it's like, uh, what's the word look for here? It's not that it's manipulative. It's that you're still holding true and wobble free to your vibration, to your very, very powerful, positive, influential, loving during vibration. And here's the other thing too, guys, it doesn't take any effort or force to stay in that high positive vibration. And you can still do it in a space um, where you're still granting them being this. This is a big component because this is a big thing that, that has been missing too, where let's just say you're around, uh, let's just say you're around someone who's very negative and maybe they use a lot of curse words or something like that. It's not your job to go and match their vibration or even their language patterns. But when they share stuff, if they're like, you know, raza, fraza, 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 you can just still stay in your high vibration and be like, huh, wow. I, I, I never even thought of it that way, you know, or whatever the case may be. And I'm being very, very, very broad and very, very general, but we have that power and that ability to stay in those high vibrations. We do. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that right there, guys, think about that for a second. Just think about that for a second. How empowering is that? You mean no matter where I am, who I'm around, what the circumstances I'm a, a part of, what location of the planet I am, that no one, but no one has the ability to affect my personal vibration, but moi? Yes. That's what I'm saying. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is your gift of the present. Of, of the many. It's one of them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Anyone have anything they want to add to that? I'm going to grab a bite of banana. Yay, banana. Yeah, I'll just say this has been so cool for me because, like, this summer, my husband was really down on coaching and, like, do your thoughts really matter mm -hmm. and all of this stuff. And I just had to hold my own space and be like, you grant him beingness and decide yeah. I was going to stay in my vibration as much as possible, but still be loving and support, like finding that space where I still was like, I love you and I grant you beingness. And, but I'm also just going to stay over here myself. And it's yeah. been so fun to see a lot of the changes <laughs> in him. So, yes. And the biggest thing being last week, he sat down, he found this YouTube channel that he loves. That's all about positive thinking and energy um which wow. first of all wow. i was amazed he'd been watching and then he sat down and he's like <laughs> oh so i just talked to my friend so and so who's been struggling and i told him you know when i take time to like watch this channel and get inspired every day 
And when I take the time and I think about what I want to accomplish in the next six months and I really think about it and I feel how it would feel, that's when I do the best. And my jaw just drops. And she's just wow. sharing this ca- casually, basically coaching her <laughs> friend sure. on how to feel better. And yeah, so I was like, that's, you know, just like, oh, that's great, honey. Like, <laughs> but it was such a dramatic shift. And it, a lot of it, I mean, I, I have, I've barely talked to him about anything. I've just yeah, been trying to yeah. maintain my own vibration and, and stay in a good place. And he just kind of came along on his own. Yeah. You know, that's awesome. Ali. I want to add a little caveat too, which is um, something to consider, which is that um, remember that giving advice is radically different than coaching. I think it's awesome though, that he's absolutely giving some positive, powerful advice, but you're a coach. And so, Mm. you know, don't ever invalidate your own wonderful, beautiful talents and abilities because you are a brilliant coach and a brilliant instructor. And um, that's awesome that you're influencing your husband, but it's just something I would say to consider. Okay. Perfect. But but I love, but I love that you shared that. So awesome. Um, I so love what you shared, Ali, because it shows when you're connected and you're shining yes. in your face. Because you said, I didn't go down. I didn't talk to him a bunch. I just right. stayed solidly in my vibration. I was feeling good. I was, you know, in my car looking out my my windshield, right? I'm, I'm, I know where I'm going. And I'm mm-hmm. just shining my light. I got my headlights on. You can see them, you know. If he wants, you can look and see them. Like, I'm not shining them in his eyes. I'm just going forward. And he shifted, right? Yeah. It, it came to him. <laughs> but that's the power of somebody that is really fo- in the present moment. They're yeah. really lined up. They're really um, being an example of, you know, being in alignment. And that's what you did for him. And I think that's just such a brilliant Yes. Beautiful example. And he, 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 all the information automatically, the awareness came to him. Right? Mm-hmm. It came yes. to him yes. because he could see you out front <laughs> beautifully, not shining in his eyes, so solidly in alignment that he was able to see in himself his own alignment. Right? Yes. It's, it's magical. And this is when we are our most powerful. Not yeah. when we're talking a bunch, when we're in alignment. Yes, Jen. Like solidly who we are. <laughs> so there you go. And I'm just, that just made me so excited to leave. That was just beautiful. So, yeah. <laughs> it, it, makes, it makes me excited too, Lee, because I know, I know the history of your husband, of, of, of the things mm-hmm. that we've seen change in him, right? Everything from the money beliefs <clears throat> to the belief about mm-hmm. you, you know, being an entrepreneur to... <laughs> to all these other things, right? And so that could only take place and happen because you were so wonderfully, like Jen said, shining in the present moment, but never in someone's eyes, Mm. you know? Like you were never like, I hope you get this one day, you know, (laughs) right? You, 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 weren't, you weren't like, you weren't like, and here's, here's another funny one I hear in the personal development realm. Why can't you be positive like me? Oh yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, yes, yes. no, no. No, that's not positive. No. But 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 when we're shining bright, like Jen said, there's not a lot of words. It's it's just yeah. it's a beingness, you know. And people can feel that. They can feel that energy. And the other thing too, um, uh, the other thing too, Ali and everyone else is that this is really really good. We don't care. Or let me phrase this. There's no. Hey, Lee, I'm getting a lot of um, uh, noise oh, from you, I think. That's okay. I think it's just rubbing against your coat or something. So um, just want to make sure we, we can all hear every, everybody. Um, it's very, very powerful because we don't ever have to um, put our attention on, oh, I hope they get it. It's not like, you know, like, oh, I'm going to just shine my brightest. And, you know, then let's just say someone like runs away or goes off and does something else there's no personal offense taken. That's really what I'm getting to. You're not like, oh, dang it. Mm -hmm. Because that's not being in the present either. Because when we're in the present and we're being in this space of granting beingness, we're just shining. It's almost like, and I love this because this was talked about in Abraham Audio too, which was this like, um, and interestingly enough, it's, it's almost like a naivety, but it's a good naivety. Because it basically is like, um, 
Well, and Tenica, I'll use the example of what you talked about, which was still really, really brilliant, where there was this gentleman and, you know, he was basically ready to take his life. And Tenica's response so brilliantly was great. Oh, you've got so much to celebrate these last few days here on this beautiful earth. What are you going to do first? And that energy stopped the guy, it, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Tenica, from actually doing what he said he was going to do. But it, was be, it wasn't because it, like, you know, Tenico was trying to be like naive, but it was also because she's like, I'm not letting this guy pull down my vibration and I'm not letting any, him pull anybody at work's vibration down either because they could have, and he could have, but Tenica shines so bright and not in anybody's eyes that it just allowed everyone to be like, I never thought of it like that. And for him to be like, well, I don't want to keep talking about this. And then nothing came because of it. Am I right, Tenica? <laughs> I see her smiling and laughing. She showed him a path. <laughs> she showed him another path. That's exactly right. Sarah. Yes. That's exactly yes. right. Yes. So yeah. good. Yeah. And she could only so do beautiful. it by being in the present moment. <laughs> you know, mm. because he, he was looking okay. towards a potential uh, d disastrous future of stuff that happened maybe in his quote unquote disastrous past, possibly. But Tenneco was there to be in the beautiful present moment to show him another path of the present. That's exactly right, Sue. Brilliant. Yeah. Wow, you guys. This is fun. Uh -huh. so, so good. So many new awarenesses of the present in the present. Yes, I am singing. So good. I sing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. I, can I? Okay, yeah. I want to thank you for what you shared. This is Marianne. That was super, super pow powerful for me. I feel like it was a huge gift, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank mm. you. Thank you. Mm. Oh, you're welcome, Marianne. So powerful. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I so agree. good. That was. <laughs> Look at you shining so bright, staying in alignment, right? Because this is the thing. We don't have to go out of alignment. If somebody's out of alignment, we don't have to go out of alignment to bring them into alignment because we can. That's right. right. The second you go out of alignment, you can. That's so funny. <laughs> I think it's a good visual, yeah, Jen. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's true. Yeah. It's um so it, it really is about staying solidly, you know, in alignment yeah. and empowering them and believing in them and going. I'm just going to stay here. I know you'll see it if it's right for you. If you know, I'm going to give you every opportunity because I know you can do this. I know you can feel <laughs> this alive, right? It's so, yeah. so, so powerful. And sometimes people mistakenly from the best of intentions, they want to help people so much and they'll pull themselves out of alignment thinking right. that they can help people by pulling themselves out of alignment. And, um, you know, and it's it's just important to recognize your strength is when you're in alignment. Yes, Jen. Um, I love I love the saying where you know you can't get broke enough, right, to make poor people rich, <laughs> and you can't get sick enough <laughs> to make sick people well. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. And, and, Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love that too, because it, you know, it ties in also with our own personal vibration, which is like, you know, some people think, well, if I feel frustrated enough, then maybe at some point I'll feel happy. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> you'll continue to feel frustrated. So it's like, whatever vibe you're wanting to feel, go there. You know, Abraham was talking about, or not Abraham. Yeah. Abraham. Abraham was talking about how years ago, Esther was really frustrated and they were saying to Abraham, Abraham, why can't you come down here to meet me at this vibration of frustration? And they said, <laughs> because that's just not how we do it. And, and you know that. And Esther was like, Ugh, fine. You know, and then she finally <laughs> got out of her own way, so to speak, and got back into that space of satisfaction and above. And everything was hunky McDory. So yeah. So this is really, really powerful guys. Um, and I know we got beautiful Julie's um, skin class coming up here in a few moments. So how exciting is this? Yes, Very. I know. Yes. Um, so I wanted to just ask if anyone had any final thoughts. And then what I wanted to do was um, the energy moved a lot already. So I would love to do um, some Phillips, some present time, present moment, feel good Phillips. Um, but I just want to see if anyone else has anything else that they would like to add real quick. Anybody got anything? Yeah, Dave, this is Sue. I just had one comment on Elise's story. Sure. Um, 
because I wanted to tie it in a little bit with the coaching. Sure. That was such a perfect, beautiful example, Lee, of why we teach when we're coaching somebody and they're talking about um, their kids or they're talking about a spouse or a parent or some other close person in their lives. We tell them that they can't change the other person. You know, because it's usually preference by how can I blah, blah, how can I help somebody? How can I get them to see? You can't, other than to be the example and to stay in the present moment and in your vibration. And mm -hmm. the, the shift is going to occur in their own timeline, not yours. Right. And she, that was such a beautiful example of all of that, tying that together. I just want to say how, that I really appreciated that. And I will undoubtedly oh, awesome. that story in my coaching sometime, Ali. Thank you. <laughs> awesome, Sue. Thank you. Awesome. So good. All right. Anyone else? All right. Perfect. Let's do some Phillips. So, um, uh, so yeah. So for those that are new to the recording, um, this is the second half of the freedom release method. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to tap into the energy, so to speak, and um, just kind of read the area if you will. And we're just going to do some beautiful Phillips on everything regarding the present moment. So um, the way this is done is I'm going to say a phrase and you're just going to take a deep breath in, hold it for about three to five seconds while repeating that phrase to yourself within your own mind silently and then breathing out. So, um, and you guys can be on mute. I don't, I can see a few of you so I can see people breathing and kind of gauge everything. So um, it's all perfect. So everyone, please take a deep breath in. I'm filled with love, gratitude, and appreciation for my gift of the present. Good. Good. I'll give it a second. Good. I'm filled with love, gratitude, <clears throat> and appreciation for my continual opening up my gifts of the present. Good. I'm filled with love, gratitude, and appreciation that I have beautiful tools already to stay in the present. Good. Good. Give one second here. Good. And I said this phrase today a lot. So um, I'm filled with love gratitude and appreciation that when I'm feeling good, it's because I'm in the present and I'm in the present because I'm feeling good. Beautiful, beautiful. And we'll do one more. I'm filled with love, gratitude and appreciation that I can be, do and have anything and everything I want when I'm feeling good in this beautiful present moment. Yay! As Tenika would say, yoo hoo! So, um, how are you guys feeling? Great. Get thumbs ups. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Feeling very present. Very present. Oh, terrific. I'm so glad to hear that, which means that we're feeling good. So yeah, guys, uh, this is the first of, of the four class. Um, thank you guys all for being here. Um, we'll continue this again next Saturday. And next Saturday, we're going to start talking about one of the things that tends to take us out of the present moment, which is our beautiful transmitter and receiver of frequency, energy, or vibration, which is our mind, and how to wonderfully work with the mind so that way not only are we in the present, but the mind is in the present moment. So it's going to be really exciting. We'll start talking about that a little bit and um love you guys this was so so fun get excited it's a time to learn about how to be happy in our skin so it's coming right up top of the hour thanks you guys awesome thanks dave love you love you love you love you guys love you guys love you love you bye love you love you love you love you all thank you you're very welcome